Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Pubble Off from Gaming Q, and today we're playing some more Balloons Adventure and Power Defense. So we're focusing on the Martian games today. Um because today we have a d decent Martian games. It's not perfect by any means. But the rule of oh, round 41. If that's not a sign that this is a pretty good one, that's not me, by the way. I don't know what it is. Reanimation protocol, hidden danger, boohoo. Boohoo's not very good, but I don't think it works on bad balloons, so this shouldn't really be an issue. This is actually the first map I played back when I did my first, I guess, long run? I don't know. But it's a pretty long map, it's a pretty good map, and we have a pretty good build here. So it's not perfect, I even have a lot of empty trinket slots, because I didn't really bother filling them, because they wouldn't really do anything. So, main guy here is our suit monkey, then we have... Marshland's built mostly just just cuz, no real reason. Size, pretty good damage. Flame Princess, mostly support. Max, random damage, but still helpful. Fan attack speed and money making. Commander Cassie's also actually really good damage. I worked pretty hard on that. Um, Jake, pretty good support. Princess Bubblegum, support. Same with Sam, and yeah. So we're gonna get into this. My goal is round 100. Oh, I think I messed this up. And you know what? It's really not that early, so I'm actually going to restart. This stinks, I gotta admit. But I'm restarting because otherwise it would be a waste. And it's a pretty big waste, honestly. I would lose out on potentially a lot of, I guess, generally generalized like achievements in progress. So instead, we're going to put back in Warrior, Prince, or Warrior PB. Warrior Princess Bubblegum as the long form. Nothing else really matters about her except as long as she has her um, upgrades, honestly, that's all that really matters. So, we're gonna go with that, and that'll be it. So, I'm gonna see you back probably when we're around the same place, if not a bit further, because, you know, time wastes. Okay, guys, I have to show you this, because this is a little interesting. So, you know, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you've seen a lot of, like, BP6 content, you might know that in that game there's a Z, like, a Z access, because there's height, obviously because of the obstacles, which they're all in this game, and apparently there's also Z access, because look at this. We place him on top of Rainbow Unicorn whatever, and he can see over here. I consider that a very good placement, if I do say so myself. We into another start on now, we have some more money making, we fixed our solution. We have our good friend Warrior PB. Um, I might, I must admit though, I'm now very, very extremely bored because being on your own just isn't as fun. And even though technically, you know, I am still uh, on my own and stuff. I'm with you guys, even if you're not physically here. I know you're still here, so that's always nice. Boost my spirits. Um, I think we actually have all of our money making here, though. So I'm just going to upgrade Suit Monkey to start off. See what we have to do after that. Um, I hope your day's been pretty good. Today's Friday, which is really awesome. Because, well, who doesn't love Fridays? I know I said yesterday that, oh, I'm a little more of a mood. No, I'm not. I'm still very excited, because it's Friday. Like, it's Friday. What else is there to say? So, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. We'll have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have some good plans. Maybe you're making something, going somewhere, I don't know. I know there's not a ton of things to do, but hopefully you guys are making the most of it, spending time doing something fun. Um, I've recently now been watching... So I'm not sure if I told you this. I know I mentioned it at least to a degree, but I'm not sure how much of it I mentioned. Yes. Um, that over the, like, holidays, I was re-watching most of the Star Wars movies. And then I saw, watched the entirety of Mandalorian way too quickly, may I add. Um, I've seen the entirety of Clone Wars, including Season 7. And because I realize now that I'm still starving, every once in a while I get in the mood for lots of and lots of Star Wars content, and I happen to be in the mood, and I started Rebels, and I'm already halfway done season two. Yeah, so I've watched way too much Star Wars stuff lately, if that wasn't obvious already. Um, but you know what? What are you gonna do? So we are here, we're continuing on. Um, but yeah, so Rebels has been pretty good. Let me know if you've seen the show. I haven't seen all of it, obviously, just season two, episode 15. But it is now the only piece of Star Wars content I haven't seen. Canon. Canon Star Wars content. Well, except if, unless you include any book. 
I'm not reading Star Wars because... I don't know. I know there is tons of stuff in books, but you know where I get most of my Star Wars book content from? YouTube. Because, I don't know, can't be bothered to read? Who knows? hundred excuses. Water Nymph time. You know, the whole reason we restarted last time, because of stupid water nymphs and the tiny... Not really the tiny pool. The pool is, if you've seen Super Monkey Ultra Buck, you can feel a lot of stuff. It's really, really to do the fact that Commander Cassie, I guess for good reason if you think about it, she's an entire, like, she's a submarine. She's on a submarine, basically. Obviously not to scale, because if you look at her, her head is, like, the size of her whole cannon and stuff. But nothing is actually to scale, so that doesn't really matter. Um, do I have anything else to say besides that? Nope, guess that was it. Um, we're just ultra buffing Zoom Monkey now because what else is there to do? So, first things first, Jake. Then we're gonna drop Marceline. She's gonna be nice. Just put you on pursuit. You're pretty useful. Not insanely useful, but pretty useful, all things considered. We're gonna throw Sam here at the exit just cuz. Pretty useful spot. Um. Come on. Yes. PB goes here. Um, I guess Royal Decree I could go for. Not that money's that important, but you know what? I'm actually gonna not for good reason. I don't want my abilities to be too crowded. They already will be anyways, and I already know that. But if I can help it in any way, shape, or form, I would prefer from, to have less abilities because it makes things crowded. Um... It doesn't feel like we should, but it honestly seems like we're kind of out of buffs already for Super Monkey. I mean, obviously, we could actually buy the Sun God upgrade, so let's just do that. We could go into Sun God mode, but honestly, what would the fun of that be? Like, that would be so boring. We've been here for like two minutes now, and then just, ooh, Sun God. Now let's see everything not exist on screen for 15 minutes. Hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, then, well, what are you going to do? Not much more to say than that. Um, I keep forgetting the beamos. There is sound effects normally, and I like the arm waves. But because they're in the bottom right, they're sort of hidden by this red gem dude. Well, pretty cool, by the way. These, like, walking gem dudes. I'm sure people that have actually seen the show, or more of the show than me, because I have seen some of them in sure time. Um, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this is, like, train boss, that guy. I'm pretty sure this is his, like, train, or, like, I think it's his train, but it might be some just, like, random dungeon. Obviously, tons of loot. There's like a no thung in the bottom left. Top, like middle right, there's the glasses of Nordicon. Very useful stuff. Um, you know what? How about this? See, already, like I said, money making, not an issue. If you're wondering what that was, by the way, I mention this like all the time. But if you are new and have no idea for whatever reason, it's acceptable. I understand. Sometimes it happens. Um, in motion games, there's a $10,000 per round mi limit. And then you just get money for popping balloons, which is still really good income. But comparatively, it's nothing. Basically, it's nothing comparatively. Even though that's literally just what I said, and then I rephrased it to say the exact same thing. I feel like I do that all the time. Let me know if you guys do that. Hopefully, I'm not the only one that does it. Where you just, you're saying something, and then you hear it, and you're like, you know what, that doesn't make a ton of sense. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rephrase it. Okay, fine. Perfectly. Okay. You want to rephrase something because what you said doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, that's a little... I don't know. Honestly, I forgot what I was going to say. Or what I was saying. If I was saying something interesting, just pretend I continued that thought. Because, once again, I completely forgotten what I was saying. Um, you know what? We have plenty of lemon hope. Why not buff these two, since they're still pretty big damage. No one else is really going to be doing all that much damage. Though I say that, I actually have some pretty decent damage trinkets on Marceline right now. So let's buff Marceline. Cobra, we have to do this eventually. By the way, I'm just ignoring the fact that we have 43,000 coins on us. Money is not exactly an issue. Not all that tight. Um, honestly, there really isn't much more to do besides just spam these guys. Like, I thought we had so much more things. I mean, obviously, we could spam everything, which is what I did on my older ones. But I don't actually think that's smart. If I really want to do that, I can always do that later. But for the time being, it just causes lag. And lag causes me to crash. And I'm already nervous enough as it is that I'm just gonna... 
I guess, get in an infinite loop of crashing, which is a very real possibility, just letting you know that. It would be really disappointing, but it's totally possible this video will end because I can't be, like, my game crashes. Because unlike a normal game, in motion games, there's no continuing. If you're there, you're there, and that's it. Activating all of our abilities, we really shouldn't have any big issues. The bad balloons, they're a little scary, but they're nothing to really worry about. I changed my mind, that was really scary. This is round 34, what are we gonna do? You can see how my opinion and worries and fears and all that stuff changed quite dramatically right there. And I'm starting to understand how someone died on round 41. It's because the fortified bad balloons. Dang it, I thought I had a good map. But whenever I think I have a good map, they always tell me, nope, you don't have a good map, because apparently this half of the track, this bottom half, he just can't see. Which is really sucky, but no matter where I place him, he's always gonna miss half, I think. Actually, you know what? Sure. I'm gonna turn auto start off, see if we can fix this spot a little bit. Because I don't want to lose now, and right now it's looking like we might actually lose. Which is not a good thing. I mean, we probably won't, but you know what? Can never be too careful. Um, let's just activate half speed balloons. Doesn't even affect the bad balloon, but why not? Um... We should be fine. These aren't that dangerous, just UMGs now, which sort of get melted. Can I try to fix my Sue Monkey spot now? So I actually have to sell a lot of things to do this, but don't worry. We have 200k. Can I not sell? Sell. Does that work? No, I can't sell. I feel like I tested this already in a different video, but whatever. I'm kind of grateful, but also a little irritated that this, this cell button, the cell button in this game is so small. Because it makes it very, very di Trying to sell this water nymph. Oh, I'm not on. Yeah, that would be my mistake. So here's what we're gonna do. Wait, what? That makes no sense to me. Whatever. Apparently, we can place it here. So let's see if this works. If we place Super Monkey right here. The thing is, his range still gets blocked, and now it's all of his range. Can we not get any place where it actually works just properly? Because we can do this, but when the balloons actually do get close, he'll be blocked off, I think. I think so. Um... This? Do we try this? I'm gonna try placements right year and hope it works no idea if this is better it might be way worse but i'm gonna try it anyways and if it doesn't work then that's too bad this will be another failure because obviously i have to do this i have to try this again and again and again um move our support over because you know the support has to follow the guy that we're supporting um we can put you mostly over there back on suit both of you need your Supporting magical upgrades. Um, you're on a pretty important one. Mr. or Mrs. PB. Um, sure you can go there. I think that's everyone again. Now we just need all the water nymphs. And we need to reset this buff on Super Monkey. And we're going to put both of them on Super Monkey. One of them, I think, was on Mouselin. And then two of them on these two. That should be that. Um, water nymphs fit them somewhere. If I can't fit all four, that's okay. I'm okay with three. Preferably four, obviously, but if it's not doable, then it's not doable. Three is a little lame if we can't even fit three, though. Okay, that's it. Then we'll sell you and move you over, too. Okay, this may seem like a massive waste, and it really will be if we still lose on the same round. But it just... I can't let us just die. That would be way too disappointing. So let's see. Water nymphs. I can fit all four of you now, right? What? Okay, we're selling you guys again. Because clearly I messed up this placement somehow. One way or another. I think it was with PP. I blame PP. Was it fair to- is it fair- 
Is it fair to blame PB? I have no idea. Okay, off of water nymphs. Great. Fully upgrade. No. Fully upgrade you because didn't even mean to do that. Honestly, no, that's a pretty big issue. Wasting so much money here. I mean, I know I have like 200k. I really shouldn't be complaining, but I'm going to because I don't want to waste money. That kind of stinks. PB, we're going to put you here. And we're going to get that, and that, and sure, that just cuz. Hopefully this worked. His range. D does it see more now? I hope so, because if it doesn't, then I just wasted a lot of money and a lot of time. But I mean, if it that is the case, then it's just disappointing anyways. Um, Because this has been a while, I feel like if I really keep this in... I'm probably just going to cut until something interesting happens, which either means that we lose, or we're about to lose. Basically, if I cut, we're, the next thing you're going to see is probably us losing. So let's see, does this spot work? Did it fix our problem? It did. If you notice here, he can attack down there. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. And I think it's be the best we're going to get. So I'm going to take this. I'll see you when we're close to death or losing. Just one quick thing. I think I covered most of the hard motion games. The only other one I can really think of. No, that's kind of it. That's sort of the majority of the motion game stuff. Attack of the Clones. That's the only one I didn't cover. I've done like 12 videos on it. Mostly just messing around. The main answer, in my opinion, is Sam Gauntlet Phoenix. Ability cooldowns. If you want to add in Missile. And, and that's it for Attack of the Clones, basically. If you want to actually try, there's... No, that's pretty much the best solution, no matter what. So that would be my recommendation. Um, well, the horn's at the bottom now. That really stinks. Anyways, I'm going to see you when we're about to die, probably. Okay, I think we might die here. This is really lame, because this is the same round, but there are three fortified bad balloons here. And even though this spot is better, this is still a lot of bad balloons reaching very, very close to the exit. So, time to spam every ability, and hope that we survive. Engage. We pop that one. We're not going to pop this next one, are we? And even if we pop this one, then there's the next one. Plasma. And we barely pop that last one there. Last one here, once again. We're dead. That's really lame. The round 35 were still dead. Honestly, I'm almost a little happy though, because truth be told, I think if this video went much longer, it would just take forever. But this is a little disappointing still, because really rare is the... We didn't even get... I hate this. They really should make it. I know they're not going to do it, but I really wish they made it so that once you reach your cap of 30, because there is a cap in which shoulders if you didn't know, it will place the lower tier ones with the higher tier ones. I know, I understand that might be hard to code, but it's a big complaint of mine, I gotta admit. Because now I just have to sit th through here shouting all the common ones. But I'm really disappointed. I'm sure this is a little lame for you guys, because this is actually, unfortunately, this is a lower, this isn't even my highest round. My highest round is 40 something. Because Fortified Bad Wounds just didn't show up until then. And that's really irritating. I thought we had a good map. I thought we had a good layout. But I guess we need a better map. So I'll probably try this again whenever there's another good map. Because it's sort of interesting regardless. And yeah. Till then though. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice. And I really do appreciate it. Have an incredible day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.